My name is Leanne Jarrett and I live here in Nashville. I work as a project coordinator on an RL1 investigating fibrosis and lymphedema and head and neck cancer. My major responsibility is basically to ensure that the entire study runs smoothly from day to day. If there are any problems, um, I take care of it. I screen and recruit potential participants from the oncology clinics and I coordinate all patient visits. And with over 1,100 patient visits for our study, that's no small task. Um, I spend a significant amount of time in clinic completing uh, patient assessments for this study and collecting data as well. I have always been drawn to research and teaching. In my undergraduate studies, I prepared for a research career in neuroscience. Then following my senior year of college, I was awarded a Fulbright, and my Fulbright study involved people rather than animal research. From that experience, I knew that I really wanted to work with people. A PhD in nursing provided me with flex flexibility in my research that I couldn't find in other fields. Another reason I'm pursuing my PhD is that I really want to help people. Um, with a PhD in nursing, I can not only change the lives of my patients, but also I can change the lives of my students. In 2007, my mom was diagnosed with stage four non-small cell lung cancer. So my research interest in lung cancer stems from that experience. Taking care of my mom during chemotherapy treatments and target therapy treatments and at the end of her life really opened my eyes to how many gaps there are in caring for someone with lung cancer. We as a medical community have a long way to go in improving the lives of patients with lung cancer and their caregivers. For my dissertation, I plan on investigating lung cancer related stigma. I'm interested in how stigma influences patient care, psychological functioning, and social support. I chose Vanderbilt because of the excellent mentoring opportunities available to me in oncology research. Sheila Reidner, my dissertation chair, has been an invaluable resource to me uh, as I've worked my way through the program. Dr. Reidner got me involved with the Pain and Symptom Management Committee um, at the Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center, and through that committee, I have been able to meet oncology researchers across campus that share my interests. Vanderbilt is able to offer its students so many helpful resources. As a student, I have access to REDCap for online data collection and management. I have access to a graphic designer to assist me with posters for conferences, which has been an invaluable resource. And around every corner is a well-known expert who is there and available to help me. Initially, I was really wary about only meeting on campus three times a year. I was worried that I wouldn't get to know my classmates very well and that turned out not to be the case at all. Vanderbilt uses a program called Scopia to meet online for class, and Scopia sessions look a whole lot like the Brady Bunch. Everyone is in their own little square, and you can all talk and interact just like you do in person. Some classes alternate between a Scopia session one week and an online posting the next, but my cohort loves Scopia so much that we requested all of our professors use it as much as possible. Um, seeing each other every week helped us to feel connected and really like we were together and there in person. So thanks to Scopia, my cohort really bonded and we all became really, really good friends. In fact, in between block sessions, we would take trips to visit each other um, and even though we're done with block now, we still travel to see each other um, and hang out. Since I live in Nashville, I had the opportunity to take courses on campus outside of the School of Nursing. For me, this was a real bonus because I was able to meet students um, in other fields such as sociology and medicine. Meeting other students gave me the opportunity to collaborate on projects that I would otherwise have not been exposed to.